telling us about um you just told the girl in the co-op about um why oh, you yeah. the chocolate yeah i said to her i said you do realize that we're not going to eat this i said it's for a scientific <laughs> experiment <laughs> She said, oh yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to measure the speed of light using this bar of chocolate and a microwave. She said, mm, you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a sort of look as if, as if, have you had your medication today? <laughs> so Errol, are you going to tell us about the experiment we're going to do today? Uh, yes, we're going to measure the speed of light with a common a kitchen microwave, a bar of chocolate, and a set of digital calipers. You see, we're looking at the back of the microwave, knowing the frequency of the microwaves. And what's the frequency here? It says... It's 2,450 megahertz. Oh. Of course, as we all know, speed of light equals the frequency times the wavelength. We need to find the wavelength of the microwave, so we use this bar of chocolate, stick it in the microwave, melt it, there'll be a couple of dimples on the back of the chocolate, we measure the distance between the dimples, and by C equals F lambda, we can find out the speed of light. Look at that. Yeah, that's Point pretty accurate. Zero one millimetre, a hundredth of a millimetre. Yeah. And so, of course, that's just the accuracy we need for measuring a couple of melted dimples in a bar of chocolate. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the chocolate in the microwave, and we've what we've done, we've removed the thing that makes the plate go round, so that it should stay in one place. Mike has secured the chocolate. That's about right. Let's say let's set it for twenty, and then we'll take it out and have a quick look. So. Mike adopts the classic experimental position. Eyes peering into the microwave. Attempting to see the slightest depression in the chocolate. Very important this. Mike checks. Nothing yet. No chocolate depression. Is that already 20 seconds? This time. Seconds? About 20 seconds. Right. Um, Mike questioning the accuracy of the microwave. <laughs> right, let's put another 15 there. You just press stop, oh, mate. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, experimental error. Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. And you notice here, Mike's got a big ass. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh! That has not gone according to plan because what we've got. Ah, oh, wait a sec. Well, we have got two depressions there. Now, a little hard to see the um, shape of the chocolate underneath. Um, now, so it's really hard to know exactly where to take with the centre point. But one is about there. The one's about, um, one's about here, I think. So it's roughly 119 millimeters. That seems uh, slightly big. So that's over a tenth of a meter. That's going to produce. That's going to produce a wavelength that's too big. So this experiment isn't working out at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Right, follow the data. Follow the yeah. data, mate. Okay, one one nine. Okay. Right. Well, we've got um, the point, the distance between our two centres where it seems to be the main centre, the what they call the points of the standing waves, where you've got the uh, most heating. So that's half a wavelength. We've got one. 119.05 millimetres. So we're going to put this into the computer. And this should, we've already set up the spreadsheet, so this should give us our speed of light. So this is a millimetre, so in metres it would be 
um, point one one nine zero five. Now, this produces a speed of light of uh, five hundred and eighty three million meters per second. Now that's too high. That's interesting. Now, if that was half, that'd be right. So, so one of those are actually is if that is half a wavelength. The danger of here is fixing the formula to match the data we expect, <laughs> <laughs> which technically <laughs> isn't very <really> scientific. <laughs> mm. So basically, what we proved here, Mike, is that. You can't measure this speed of light. <laughs> what we're going to do now is transfer the chocolate to the glass plate because it's flat. I think one of the problems that affected the previous version of the experiment was the fact that the chocolate was essentially suspended between these four points. And then when it began to get a little warm, um, it collapsed in the middle. And I think that's See? perhaps a little... Suspended chocolate. Yeah, suspended chocolate. So... Try and move it to... Careful Mike. Break the chocolate. Mm. It's all very melted there. So, let's set it for 25. Mike, monitoring the chocolate. Yeah. It appears to be melting to this side, but we can't see any other corresponding points to measure between. I think you should reorientate the chocolate. Okay. And try again. Let's get that there. Not really get any clear points to measure. Give it another five seconds then. Yeah. Mm, Can you see anything on the right? Not really. weird. I wonder why that is. Maybe the, <clears throat> maybe the heat's spreading too easily. Maybe that's why they suggest using chocolate chips mm. because that stops the heat from spreading from the individual points. Um, so that, that probably does help it keep in one place. Well, it's still not really clear to me. No notes. Strange, isn't it? Viscous fluid, isn't it? Right, yeah. In fact, I'm amazed, given how soft and soggy it is, how it's managed to keep its shape as much as it has, mm. actually. Because it looks, still looks fairly solid, but in yeah. fact it's become almost completely liquid. Yeah. Do you know what I'm thinking, Mike? I'm thinking ice cream. <laughs> I've got some strawberry ice cream in the freezer. And that might do the trick. Yeah, I think that... No, no, I'm thinking ice cream and strawberry. Oh, ice cream strawberry and chocolate. Strawberry ice cream and chocolate. Right. On top. We've demonstrated science is hard. Well, yeah, we have. It's not quite as straightforward as it appears mm. in the instruction book. Yeah. And okay. now we're going to read the chocolate. Well, we've had a learning experience. Mm. We learned that we're not very good at it. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, I know. That is good. <laughs> Morello cherries and shot Cadbury's chocolate. <laughs> this one's for you, Levain. Mmm. Mmm. I know. Mmm. And any we don't eat, we'll all just throw it away, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw it to the cat. <laughs>